The past week has seen fresh revelations about India's next generation underwater weapon, the K-6 hypersonic missile. DRDO continues to push boundaries. According to recent briefings from defense insiders and reports, this weapon is built to outfit the upcoming S-5 nuclear submarines and to secure India's sea-based deterrence. The K-6 is a three-stage solid-fuel ballistic missile developed specifically for undersea deployment. It measures over 12 meters long and exceeds 2 meters in diameter. Its payload capacity of 2 to 3 tons supports advanced MIRV capabilities, enabling multiple warheads to strike separate targets in a single launch. Performance-wise, K-6 will reach speeds of Mach 7 to 7.5, nearly 9,200 kilometers per hour, making it extremely hard to intercept. It also boasts a remarkable strike range of up to 8,000 kilometers. Positioned far from home, S-5 submarines will be able to threaten adversaries deep inland while maintaining stealth. You may recall that the K-4 SLBM, with a 3,500-kilometer range, is already active on the Arihant class. K-5, with a 5,000 to 6,000-kilometer range, is in the final trial stages. The K-6's range and hypersonic profile will fill the final gap, completing India's ocean-based nuclear strike architecture. S-5 submarines are expected to begin construction by 2027 and enter service in the mid-2030s. With a beam of 13,000 tons displacement and up to 16 missile tubes, they're built to carry a full load of K-6s. This upgrade marks a transformation in strategic deterrence. Mir V capability multiplies strike options from a single launch. Hypersonic speed reduces detection and interception windows. The sea-based platform guarantees survivability in any first strike scenario. In the regional context, K-6 answers the challenge posed by Chinese SSBNs carrying JL-3 missiles. By matching or exceeding their range and velocity, India secures strategic equivalence in underwater deterrence. India's nuclear triad, land, air, and sea, now stands reinforced. The K-6 completes the sea leg. It ensures second strike credibility, reinforces the no first use doctrine, and enhances global deterrent balance. Looking ahead, K-6 is likely to begin launching trials in the late 2020s, with induction aligning with the S-5 class deployment in the mid-2030s.